What's up everybody? I hope y'all are having a great day. I'm Anthony on today's video. We are gonna be doing something super special. I'm gonna show y'all a bypass, a way to get around one of the absolute dumbest regulations to ever come out of Washington DC. The 2009 gas can regulation that made you start using these stupid things. All right, so like I said in the intro, today's video, we're gonna be talking about a solution to these dumbass things right here. Now, in 2009, the 44th president and his cabinet decided that it would be a very good idea to put the United, entire United States on the same rule as California when it comes down to gas cans because they thought in their grand wisdom that the biggest problem with climate change and fossil fuels in general was the average American using gas cans to fill up their lawn tools, their vehicles, whatever, because we're just too stupid and we leave the caps off so the gas just evaporates out, right? So they wanted to make sure there's no way possible that gasoline could evaporate out of your gas can. So they made these dumb things right here where there's different designs the midwest midwest cans are different uh then you got these where you gotta twist them and it makes it so that every time you go to use this stuff it never works right and it always spills more gas than you actually fill up inside whatever you're trying to fill up so this is an inherent problem all right this is what happens when you let the government try to do something try to force regulation on everybody to make things better it actually doesn't make it better at all it makes things 10 times worse so since 2009 we have not had a regular common sense gas can available to be able to buy so if you had a gas can prior to 2009 you were probably holding on to that thing for dear life because you can't find them anymore until now now I happened to come across this company by complete accident. I was like just messing around on Facebook one day and all of a sudden I got an ad. Yes, finally a Facebook ad actually geared towards me uh, to a company called gasspouts.com and I'll show you the, the picture right here. All right, so you see what I'm talking about? This ad almost looks a little too good to be true because it's promising something that I've wanted forever, all right? Since they made that regulation in 2009, it has been a literal nightmare to be able to use a gas can normally, okay? If you had one prior to 2009, you were holding on to it for dear life. I had a few of them, but as the you know years tick on, as the age gets to the plastic, things start cracking, things start happening, and that gas can is probably not usable anymore. So you are begrudgingly forced to buy the new cans, all right? That's what I ended up doing, and when I buy the new cans, just giving you a heads up, I never actually use the spouts that come with them. I just take them off and use a freaking funnel. So that way I'm not spilling gas all over the place, and it makes things 10 times easier. So the whole purpose of the spout is actually null and void because I don't even use a freaking thing. But I digress. When I saw this ad, I said, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some of these just to see if it's exactly as advertised, and sure enough, it is exactly what I wanted. What you have is a normal freaking spout. You take off the locking lid and look, you got a mesh screen, but it goes all the way through. No locking doodads. No, you have to hold this down to make it pour. Regular gas spout. So I said, this is awesome, this is exactly what I need. Let's make sure it fits on my cans. That's why you have both of these adapters. One of them fits on one style can. The other one will fit on a Midwest style can. It works exactly like it's supposed to. So, I was extremely happy that I found this. And I wanted to show y'all on my channel because I guarantee you there's a whole bunch of people watching this that were exactly like me and frustrated beyond belief of the old style system. So when you order this kit, you are going to get your gas spout, like I said, with the two different adapters and the cap to make sure that you are not letting your fuel go and evaporate while you're not using it. And you are also going to get this. This is the little breather that goes on the back side of the gas can. So whenever you're pouring, you don't get the glug, glug, glug game of doom that blows it out of whatever funnel or whatever you're trying to fill up. Because it lets air come up from the backside, the air can escape and it can pour like normal. So what I'm going to do in this video, aside from showing you exactly how this stuff looks, is I'm going to put it on a Midwest can. Now, a normal Midwest can, I just bought a new one to show you, comes with these stupid ones right here. Okay, 
you see that dumb little push down spout thing that always causes more you know harm than good yeah we're gonna throw that away and I'm gonna show you how to put this can or the retrofit system onto this can are right, you ready this is gonna blow your mind what it works exactly like it's supposed to now let's go ahead and drill for the breather now when we're going to install this breather we're going to consult our instructions to see exactly what size drill bit we need it says para instalar el nuevo ducto okay that's not the right language okay it says to install a new vent make sure the can is empty and dry inside no duh if you are trying to drill into a gas tank especially with a electric drill and there's gas inside you are an idiot do not be around any kind of gas do not even go outside because you should not be around normal people you probably won't survive but make sure the gas can is empty and dry inside and drill a half inch hole on the back top side so that's what we're going to do i have a christmas tree bit i'll give you one guess as to why we call this a christmas tree bit and we are going to find the half inch of course the camera can't pick it up there it is the half inch step and we are going to drill to half inch all right so just a little tip for those that have never used a step or christmas tree bit before i'd like to use tape to tape exactly which step i'm going to be using because when i get to that tape i know that i'm to the level and i have to keep pulling the bit out and checking to make sure that i'm at the right size so i'm taped at half an inch let's get to drilling All right, so there you have it. In under three seconds, you put your spout on, and in about a minute, you put on the breather. So in under two minutes, you have now been able to retrofit your government-regulated, carb-compliant, idiotic gas cans and put it back to a common-sense, pre-2009 amazing gas can, right? This is what exactly every single person who likes easy wants. If you use gasoline, if you own your own home, if you have a car, if you have a lawnmower, whatever, you should look into buying one of these. I will put a link down below in the description to the company. It's called gasspouts.com. They are not paying me. They have no idea I'm doing this video. I literally paid my own money not getting any kind of kickbacks. I want to make sure I'm doing a video on this to show you guys exactly how easy it is to put common sense back into your gas cans, okay? So, again, that company is down below in the description. Please check them out. I got a set of three for like 20 bucks. Super freaking easy to install, as you just saw. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead in the video there. If you like this at all, please do me a humongous favor and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, and I will definitely catch y'all on the next one, okay?